back. I couldn't help it. I gotta unbox this. You guys gotta see it. Alright. So, uh, this is like the fifth video, and I don't even care. I'm recording like crazy tonight. I got a box. Look at it. Yeah. I got a box. And uh, I wanna open it up, show you guys what's inside of it. This uh, comes from Asia Tees. This is a. Uh, yeah, this is something I've been waiting for. There's all kinds of goodies in here. It's not a single project. It's more or less a bunch of stuff to help me finish some projects. So, uh, without further ado, since you guys know they're already a uh, new sponsor for the show, let's open it up. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they brought. Let's uh, let's check it out. And now I'm not going to lie. I already opened it up. Yeah, I already cut the tape and all that. And I have to peek in here. I have to make sure it's all good. You know, what if uh, they... You know, I don't know if they sent me the wrong stuff, you know, or something. No, they did. They they got it right. They got it right. All right, so let's crack her open here. So we're going to move this over to the other. All right, let's crack her open. We'll turn it sideways. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. How's that? Now, normally I do this with the tripod and all that stuff. But hey, we're going to wing it. I know you guys want to see that right off the bat, don't you? Yeah, buddy. You guys know I love my Jeeps. And uh, because I love my Jeeps, I, I collect them in RC, basically. And uh, I realized that I have no two-door Jeeps. Not one. I don't have any two-door Jeeps. Well, okay, I tell you, I got the JK8, but it's a pickup truck. So, eh. So, uh, I got to start doing some two-door Jeeps. So, I'm going to do this right here uh, as a four-linked two-door Jeep, a JK, and when the time comes, I'm going to uh, do a short wheelbase kit, hopefully, and do a uh, TJ. Brand Parker, you'll love that. It'll have square headlights, buddy. Yeah, like a real Jeep. So, uh, anyways, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. And uh, I'm not going to go all crazy and open all the packages right now, man. This thing is really, really packaged up. But uh, well, at least I can show you what I got here. So... They put a ton of this, uh, you know, the popping material or whatever. Yeah, they put a ton of that on there. So it is in really good shape. The mirrors are still on. The antenna's on it. I mean, nothing's, nothing is uh, broken. Oh, I'm super stoked on this. All right. So that's cool. And does that have... Huh. I see wires in there. I wonder what those wires are for. Anyways, so that's that's good to go. Let's see what else we got in here. Got lots of these packing peanuts. I got some stickers. That's from Asia Tees. Stoked. That's pretty cool. All right. So the next big thing I got is a wraith cage. I couldn't help it. You know, the wraith cage is gonna be pretty cool. I've got this wraith sitting over here and uh, I can already show you guys that by now. I've done the reveal on the wordy made grape ape and this is a uh, just an old yeah it's not I don't it's something that I had for mock-up basically just to get a wheel base where I needed it to mock something up with wheels and tires and blah 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 so it's really it's just parts of a wraith kind of bolted together um, half assly just to make something real quick back in the day. And I've had it sitting on the floor forever in the corner and uh, I decided it's time to do something with it. That was donated to me by my buddy Lance of uh, Team G Racing. And yeah, I think I'm going to do something cool with it. Uh, I think I'm going to turn it into a rock bouncer using this. It should all bolt right up to this, hopefully, and uh, then we'll have to get some interior action going on. Maybe do a sway bar and a couple of little things. You know, if, if I'm lucky, maybe I can get a scale motor up under the hood. I don't know for sure, but yeah. So we're going to do a rock bouncer build with this, and that will be cool. That will be real cool. And uh, also, I have a set of SCX-10 axles to go under this. I need to do something about a chassis, but I've got SCX-10 axles and some G-made shocks for this bad boy. And then, let's get back in here. I got parts for my Land Rover. Something I've been trying to get fixed for a long time. I did a deal a long time ago with a buddy of mine uh, 
to get a LR3 Land Rover. And unfortunately, it wasn't in working condition. So uh, what I did was kind of tore it apart and rebuilt it. And then I uh, ordered up some parts finally. I haven't been able to do this for a long time because, believe it or not, it's kind of hard to find these parts. They're not just like at your local hobby shop, it <laughs> turns out. Um, so, uh, I did some research and I found out what will work on what and I've got some parts so I can get my Land Rover going. That guy right there. Yeah, and believe it or not, that is fully independent suspension front and rear, just like the real ones are. Uh, but it's just, you know, I had to build a custom chassis and things like that for it and it's just, you know, it's always been on the back burner. You know, it was more or less just kind of to help a buddy out and he was helping me out and you know it's just one of those projects that didn't really ever have like a initial purpose and now I'm gonna get it up and going and that's gonna be the truck that my wife drives so I'm pretty excited and uh, these are the parts I needed to get that going I'm pretty stoked and a couple of them are upgrade parts like the CVDs are gonna be upgrades um, and then finally last but not least We've got these here. We've got a set of aluminum rear dually wheels for uh, Project Ares. My Dodge truck I'm going to be doing up here. Boom. It's been needing some dually wheels. And we just got some brand new dually wheels. And I'm not sure if these are 1.9 or 1.7s. I'm pretty sure they're 1.7s. Oh, excuse me. I'm yelling. I'm getting tired. Uh, 1.7s. And then I got these Boom Racing wheels. They're not an exact match. I'm not going to lie. They're not like 100%, but they're close enough. And uh, then I got these tires for the dually wheels. Um, unfortunately, Asia T's forgot to send out the second set of tires, and I'm pretty sure that's because they, you know, this wasn't a typical order. This was a sponsored order, and I think they didn't see that I clicked quantity two on this because um, I needed two sets of these. So I hit them up, and what do you know? They're sending it out immediately. So I've got another set of those tires coming, and that will be the dually wheels and tire combo for Project Ares, and I am pretty excited on that. And that is my Asia Tees order, you guys. I'm pretty excited. Let's uh, spread this out here a little bit. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely excited. I think the uh, wheels and tires are probably something I'm the most excited about. Actually, I don't know. I like it all. I'm, I'm stoked to get all this up and going. Um... But yeah, you guys, I just want to do a real quick video showing you what I got from them. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, honestly, this is all stuff that you can get from Asia Tees, you know, for dirt cheap. I mean, this is this is really some affordable stuff. These wheels and tires were a lot cheaper than I was expecting. So um, anyways, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Peace and chicken grease, all that good stuff. And let me know what your favorite item was out of this little batch. I'm pretty stoked. Alright, I'm going to do some test fitting on these wheels and tires.